Yellowstone supervolcano formation. Recent study challenges the widely accepted theory. This is on Science Daily by University of Illinois at Urbana Campaign. Understanding the complex geological processes that form supervolcanoes could ultimately help geologists determine what triggers their eruptions. A new study using an advanced computer model cast doubt on previously held theories about the Yellowstone supervolcano's origins, adding to the mystery of Yellowstone's formation. Quote, our model covered the entire history of Yellowstone's volcanic activities, unquote, said Ji Li Jun Liu, geology professor, University of Illinois. Liu's computer model accounted for the last 40 million years, prior to even the earliest signs of Yellowstone's volcanism. Yellowstone is one of the largest remaining active supervolcanoes. True to its name, the supervolcano is capable of erupting on a much larger scale than an ordinary volcano. The origins of Yellowstone are still under much debate. One of the most prevalent views is that Yellowstone's supervolcano was formed by a vertical column of hot rocks rising from the top of the Earth's core, known as a mantle plume. The majority of previous studies have relied on conceptual, idealized models which are not physically and geologically accurate, Liu said. Some recent studies reproduced key geophysical factors in a laboratory setting, including a rising plume and a sinking oceanic plate. However, these studies fail to account for the comprehensive set of geological variables that change over time, influencing the velocity, the volcanic history. Liu said, our physical model is more sophisticated and realistic than previous studies because we simultaneously consider many more relevant dynamic processes. Using the Blue Waters supercomputer at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications of the University of Illinois, one of the fastest supercomputers in the world, Liu's team created a computer model that replicated both the plate tectonic history of the surface and the geophysical image of the Earth's interior. This study is the first to use a high-performance supercomputer to in interpret the layers of complicated geophysical data underlying Yellowstone, Liu said. The main goal of the study was to examine whether the initiation and subsequent development of the Yellowstone volcanic system was driven by a mantle plume. The simulated data showed that the plume was block it blocked from traveling towards the surface by ancient tectonic plates, meaning that the plume could not have stayed and played a significant role in forming Yellowstone, you said. The researchers published their findings in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. The research also examined many other factors that could have played a role in forming Yellowstone. These simulations discounted most of other theories of Yellowstone's origins. You said, as a result, formation of the Yellowstone volcanic system remains mysterious. Supervolcanoes are hazardous natural phenomena that evoke public concern, partly because their formation is not well understood. While this area of research is still far from predicting eruptions, Liu said, improving the fundamental understanding of the underlying dynamics of supervolcano formation is key to many future applications of relevant geophysical knowledge. Liu said, this research indicates that we need a multidisciplinary approach to understand conceptual natural processes like Yellowstone. I know people like simple models, but the earth is not simple." End quote. This is by Tiffany Leonard and Liu Jun Liu, titled The Role of Mantle Plume on the Formation of Yellowstone Volcanism. It was in Geophysical Research Letters, and this is by the University of Illinois at Urbana Campaign, original written by Sarah Banducci, and it's on Science Daily.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.